I'll show you some of my pear trees now. Got our Bosque pear tree here first in our row of apple I mean of pear trees that stretches off into the distance along the west edge of our property and our vineyard and and little um, vegetable patch. So Bosque Belgian pear very commonly eaten here in the United States, russeted pear. Then we have the white doyenne planted this spring, doing really well. I believe it's a French pear. Round, I think. Then we have one of two um, jargonelle pears. These pears are thought to be the parum primum, that is the pear that was described in classic literature out of Greece, so these are very old pears. They're a little red, small pears. I guess red blush on green. This one is uh, called Le Lectier. I planted it this uh, spring, so it's still pretty small. I'm trying to get a start. This is a French pear. It's a green pear. This is our second Jargonelle pear, the pear, parum primum, Greek pear, or at least initially described in Greece, but probably like most pears and apples from eastern, um, from Western Asia. This pear behind our yellow cone flowers here is doing real well. This is the Roussolette de Rem. It's a French pear from probably the 1700s. It was a favorite of some of the some of the Louis, the kings of uh, France. Doing really well. That's going to be a little red pear. This pear is the Dana Hovey. This is a colonial American pear. Doing really well. Here's the last. The pears in our row is just a little tiny pear. You can barely see it down there. And that pear is the Citron de Carme. It's a French pear. It may have originally started in Italy. Um, it may like warmer weather. It didn't. Uh, it used to be a bigger pear tree, but the uh, frost this spring knocked it back or at least killed the vegetation on the upper shaft. But I had planted it last fall, and I'm going to give it another winter and see how it does. But if it doesn't survive in this weather, we may need to replace it. Beautiful sunset here on Glendora Road in Buchanan, Michigan.